the power of facial expressions. I just woke up not so long ago and I'm reflecting about how my mom used to be so good with facial expressions. She'd say a lot, but not say much. Um, background story, we used to go to Assemblies of God. And if you know Assemblies of God, okay, you know. Um, started church, Sunday school, half past nine, half past 10 or 11. Yeah, half past 10, we start the main church. And we drag until after lunch. And after lunch, would sometimes go as further as around 3 p.m., depending on the after main service, other services. Hey, yeah, we served that time. Anyway, back to the facial expression. So, you know, as children, no, because we were forced to be in the main service and it dragged. And most of the time we couldn't understand relate, but that's not the point. So at some point, um, others would just go maybe and go and have their lunch tin, which we never, <laughs> interestingly, um, and then they end up playing outside. So we'll try and sneak out with my siblings. I remember my mom used to have this look like she'd be facing maybe the pulpit and then sitting next to the aisle, always strategically sitting next to the aisle. <laughs> and then as you're walking, tipping toe, trying to walk out, she'd be like... And then you try and negotiate your way or plead your case like, I'm going to pee. She'd be like... She said it. There's no arguing, nothing. It's just a U turn and going back to sit down with her children. You all were so orderly in church. My parents were street. When it came to us in church, you'd never find us making drama in church. Yeah, guys. Anyway, happy Easter. Mm.